Mobile Together Server is the gateway between your mobile apps and backend data sources. It enables developers to quickly deploy mobile apps to all platforms, including the web. Additionally, the server software is provided for you to deploy on-premise, allowing you to have complete control over how your apps are accessed. Prior to following this tutorial, please have a copy of the latest version of the Mobile Together Server installer. A link will be provided below. This tutorial will cover the steps needed to install the Altova License Server and Mobile Together Server. This video will focus on server installations that are intended to be behind a corporate firewall. We will not go into detail on setting up port forwarding, nor will we cover SSL configuration just yet. These items will be covered in the next tutorial. Let's start by running the Mobile Together Server installer. This installer will install both Mobile Together Server and Altova License Server. Altova License Server is used to manage licenses for Altova products, including both paid and evaluation licenses. Each organization must have at least one license server installed. Run the installer, and if prompted, click Yes to run as administrator. Verify the version to be installed, and click Next. This screen allows us to install or configure Altova License Server as well. If you do not currently have License Server installed elsewhere, check the box to install it, otherwise configure the appropriate address. Click Next. This screen contains configuration options for experienced users. First-time users should leave all options at their default value. I will show you how to configure these settings using the server interface later in this video. Click Next. Carefully review the license agreement, accept it, and click Next. Verify we are doing a complete installation and click Next. Finally, click Install. If you don't currently have a license, you can request one now. To do this, check the box, click Request Key, enter your contact information, and click Request Now. A license file will be emailed to you. Click Next and then Finish to complete the installation. If you requested an evaluation license, check your email and retrieve the key. Most of the remaining configuration will be handled using a web browser. I will be demonstrating it on the server itself, however you are free to use a web browser on your local workstation as well. Make sure that you copy your license key to whichever machine you plan on running this configuration, however. Two new services have now been installed and configured on your server. Altova License Server provides a centralized location to manage licenses for Altova products. Additionally, Mobile Together Server has been installed. Mobile Together Server hosts project files, handles all authentication, and provides data translation for your mobile apps. Finally, a new icon has been added to your taskbar, the Altova Service Controller. This controller will allow you to quickly start, stop, and restart all Altova services, in addition to providing you with quick access to the administrative consoles for each product. I would suggest unhiding it in the taskbar as you will be accessing it often. Let's start by configuring the Altova License Server. Click on the Altova Service Controller icon, select License Server, and click Configure. This will open the web interface for the License Server. Log in with the default password, Default. The License Server interface contains several different tabs used to configure and manage licenses and licensed clients. Before we load any licenses, however, let's change the password to something a bit more secure. The password can be configured within the Settings tab. Scroll down, Locate the password box, specify a new password, and then click Change Password. The license server can be configured to send emails for alerts thrown by the server. This will include notification of licenses that have expired or will expire soon. Scroll to the bottom of the Settings tab and complete fields in the Alert Mail section. Note that if you are unable or unwilling to set this up, these messages will also appear in the Messages tab. Save your changes and then click on the Send Test Mail button to verify the configuration is correct. Now it's time to load our license into the server and assign it to Mobile Together Server. Open the License Pool tab. This tab is used to view information about licenses currently loaded on the server. Scroll to the bottom and click Browse next to Upload License File. Locate either the evaluation license generated earlier or another license you already own and click Open. Click Upload to upload the license. 
Once uploaded, this license will appear in the license pool with the status of activating. Activation should take no more than two minutes. Feel free to refresh this page if it seems like nothing is happening. Now it's time to assign this license to Mobile Together Server. The Mobile Together Server service is turned off following initial installation. Start it using the Altova Service Controller. It will start automatically once a license has been assigned. With the service turned on, click on the Client Management tab. This tab will list all services registered with the server and allow you to assign licenses to them. Select the Mobile Together Server instance. Licenses will be assigned in the right pane. Currently, there are none. Click on the chain link, select the appropriate license, and click Apply Changes. This license has now been applied to this instance of Mobile Together Server. You can verify this within the current tab. Finally, click on the Client Monitoring tab. This tab contains a list of all services currently connected to License Server and when they were last seen. This will show not only your server products, but any clients which happen to be using other Altova products registered to this license server. That's all we need to do with the license server. Close out the admin interface and open the Mobile Together Server interface using the service controller. Log into the admin interface using the default credentials, root for the username and root for the password. The Mobile Together Server interface is laid out similarly to other Altova server products. If it isn't already open, click on the Settings tab and the Network Sub tab. This page contains all settings pertaining to network configuration. You can set custom ports for both SSL and non-SSL connections in addition to enabling and disabling each connection type. This is also where we will upload an SSL certificate in a future tutorial. For now, all we want to do is enable anonymous access to the client. Do this by checking the Automatically Log In as Anonymous checkbox and clicking Save at the bottom of this page. Next, we'll change the default password for root and add a developer account. Click on the Users and Roles tab. This tab will allow you to manage all users, groups, and roles on the server. Let's set a new password for root by clicking on the root user. Click Change Password, enter a new password, and click Save. Click on the Users sub-tab to return to the Users page. Let's now add a development user. This user will be used to demonstrate deploying a new solution to Mobile Together Server and accessing existing solutions. Add a new user by clicking Create User. Let's call the user mtdev and set a secure password to it. Click Save and scroll to the bottom of the screen. Assign the Workflow Designer and Workflow User roles to this user. These roles will allow us to group together classes of users and easily assign permissions to solutions. Finally, we need to configure containers to allow this new user to deploy to. Click on the Workflows tab. The Workflows tab contains all containers and solutions that have been pushed for mobile and web clients to access. By default, Altova includes public and admin containers with all new installations. The admin container currently contains a statistics app. This app is intended to be used by admin and developer users to determine how many users are connected to the server, from what kind of device they are connecting with, and what times of day they are active. A great tool for monitoring your server. The public container will initially contain a list of sample apps the users can access. These apps are also available within Mobile Together Designer as well if you would like to see how the project files are built. For now, open the root container and click on the permissions button. Click Add Permissions, select the Workflow Designer group, and click the Full Access button. This will allow members of this group to read, write, and use apps contained within all containers. Click Save Changes. At this point in the configuration, your MT Dev user can deploy solutions and run anything on the server. Let's verify that we can connect with the Mobile Together Windows client. Return to your workstation and load the client. It can be retrieved from the Windows Store if you do not already have it. You can also test this connection with a mobile device so long as that device is able to communicate with this instance of Mobile Together Server. This will generally require the client and server to be on the same network. Open Mobile Together and click on the Settings button in the upper right corner. Add a new server by clicking on the plus button. Fill all the fields out pertaining to your server's configuration. The default non-SSL client port is 8083. Make sure you log in with the new dev account we created. Click the Back button, verify the server is selected, and click the Back button one more time. You should see all demo apps we loaded by default on your server. Feel free to run any of these if you like. Let's now remove all the demo apps in the public container. 
Switch back to the Mobile Together admin interface, click on the Workflows tab and open the public container. Select all solutions in this container and click Delete Selected Objects. This will remove all demo apps from this server. Switch back to Mobile Together and click on the Refresh button. Now the only app that is left is the Statistics app. The last thing we want to do is deploy a solution to the server. Load Mobile Together Designer and create a new project. This sample app doesn't actually need to do anything. So let's drag a label control and give it the text Hello World. Save this project locally. Deploy the solution via the file menu and deploy to Mobile Together server. Enter your server's information. The default non-SSL admin port is 8085. Deploy this to the public container and name it Hello World. Click OK. This solution has now been deployed to the server. We can verify this by going back to the Mobile Together app, clicking Refresh and opening the new Hello World app. You can now develop unlimited mobile apps, deploy them to your Mobile Together server, and access them using a mobile client. The next tutorial in this series will cover generating a new SSL certificate, binding it to your server, and enabling SSL connections. Additionally, we will go in-depth on network configuration and discuss what a typical setup will look like. Mobile Together is a powerful app development framework that allows anyone to easily create mobile apps for any platform. Visit www.altova.com mobile and start creating apps today.